Good morning. We are live on YouTube and Facebook and Twitch. Melanie, your name is not green. I don't know if your account is going through when you subscribe, when you join the membership. I don't know what's happening with that. Well, I'll look into that after the video. And Kathy Lewis, the winner of last video, uh, she needs to email me. I think I forgot to say email me. Email me at melodylanedesigns at gmail.com. Yeah, Mel I think there's a glitch with Melanie's account or something. It's not working. Um, hello, everybody. Hi, Dorothy and Lynn on Facebook. We're going to be opening some viewer mail today. And next week... Next Saturday after class, we have Patreon Hangout. Um, so we chat in video with Patreons. And I had to reschedule my hair appointment from that Saturday so we could have time together. Oh, Bobby! You you did get the whole badge back, though. It didn't go back to the beginning new badge. That's good to know. I'm sorry your account got frauded. Your cutie's back to full, though. You have the full cutie. Okay, you guys are just awesome. I just love reading the chat. All right, um... And after I open these, we can chat if you want. If you have questions for me, um, I'm going to try to take some time off this afternoon and play in my virtual reality. Get away from the real world and hide and play and wander around the world in my virtual reality. Okay, let's go to opening these. But I can... Um, Hang out with you guys a little bit if you want to chat. All right. Okay, we're going to open this one first. I just looked. This is from Ken Hess. This is, um, he is my chalk couture leader. He is above me in chalk couture. And he sends everybody who reaches couturier under him a little gift. I think that's what this is for. Alex and Andy bracelet. Look at all these charms. Oh, that's so neat. Charity by design, one step at a time. That's really nice. Can you guys see? I don't know where my camera is. I'm so sorry. I think I was off camera. Here, let me show you. Hold on, I gotta move this chat. I can't see it. I have switched around my desk. Uh, Ann Proctor wants to know how to put the emojis in. Underneath the chat, click on, I don't even remember what you click on, but you can click on other things and you can get the emojis. Alex and Annie, Charity by Design. Thank you. That's awesome. So it's a bracelet. And he, he sends, I have other bracelets too. One step at a time. Can you guys see that? You can see that? Let me. It's purple. Matches my nails. It says one step at a time and it has like a little sun. I don't know why I can't. I think 
get the light on it. There. Is that better? I'm holding the light in one hand. Thank you, Kenny. Okay. This is from Seattle, Washington. This has some bling on it. It's coming through the envelope. I love seeing the awesome cards you guys make. If you guys want to send me anything, I, I don't ask for anything, but uh, we love to see your cards. I love to share your stuff. So if you want me to open your projects on camera, and send them to me. The address is in the description of the video on YouTube. It's also in the about section on YouTube. I don't know if it's in the description of the video on YouTube. I think I start. it might be, but I've started putting it in the about section of my YouTube channel in case I ever move. I don't ever plan on moving, but you never know. Look, she drew my favorite flamingo. The cricket drew it. I have this on a shirt, this flamingo, in glitter, pink, vinyl, iron-on. This is so cute. So, you open this up. Look at, I love it. Oh, these are the two embellishments that were sticking out of the envelope. <gasps> it's one of my files. I didn't even realize that. Look. That's so cool. From Linda Rose. That is so awesome. This is one of my shutter cards. Is it shutter cards? Gatefold shutter. I forgot what the name of it is. But it's one of the files that I share with you guys. And they're so much fun. It says thank you inside. With glitter. Glitter pen. Yay. Yeah, and the feathers are an awesome touch. That That is so cool. And I love that. That's just perfect. I love that. And the palm trees and the coconuts. That is so cool. Thank you. I will be putting this on my gratitude wall. First wall you see when you walk in the room. And she has a big, long letter. I want to thank you for all that you have taught me. I love our Saturday classes. I always learn, and they are always so much fun. I also want to thank you for my Nightbot win. Uh, so exciting. I hope Miss Daisy liked her guests. I enjoy going on adventures with her. Besides, I think she's just a little bit jealous of the Tesla. We all know so much about you, but you know nothing about us. We have a bit in common. We share the same birthday. Oh, however, I was born quite a few years. Well, let's just say decades before you. Oh, and she also graduated from cosmetology school. I did too. That is so nice. She's also a dog lover. That is so nice to learn so much about you. And we do have a lot in common. Okay. You are appreciated for your sunny personality. Such a joy to tune in to see your smiling face. And to hear those squeals, isn't it pretty? And oh, I love it. <laughs> you make us smile and inspire us to think outside the box. That's exactly what I was trying to do today, is trying to make you think. Not really outside the box, but thinking. We love you. Take good care, Linda Rose. That's so sweet, Linda. Thank you so much. That's neat. Why do I feel 
feel like my camera is way far over. Anyways, it's better. Pour it out of the way. I have my, I gotta, I don't know if I'm gonna send that to him or give it to him the next time he comes. Thank you so much for the Amazon gift card and for everything you do. Christine Rosenberg K. She won one of my giveaways. Oh, look. That was the back. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. I think it's a stamp. We are born makers. We move what we're learning from our heads through our hearts to our hands. That's so cute. And it's a little stand to put on my craft desk. And this too. Adorable. You are incredible, lovable, wonderful, amazing, or wonderful, powerful. You are amazing, beautiful, just the way you are. Live simply, dream big, be grateful, give love, laugh lots. That's awesome. And see, it's just like a little easel. That is so nice. And I love the little bling. And it sits like that. What a nice gift. These are really nice. I love that the amazing has popped out. That is really nice. We should give these. We should I we need to make some more of these. I need to make some. And these would be great gifts to give to people just to remind them of how much they're appreciated and just to sit on their desk or sit somewhere on a table. Yeah, this is awesome. Thank you. And how easy it is to make one of these. It's just, this is just a rectangle and folded in half and glued onto the back. And then you can make, oh, you have so inspired me. I so want to start making these. Thank you so much. These are just amazing. This might be a Tuesday video for this coming Tuesday. I don't know. I It's just amazing. I love this. And it's something, I mean, because we, I love to paper craft and a lot of us love to make cards. Um, But this is something different and that they can lay out and it's it's fun and encouraging. I I just think these are great. These are so great. Thank you so much. I love these. They they totally inspire me to craft. I love these. Thank you. That is so neat. She did make my day. Like, that is so, because I, I love doing, like, making things. And it's it's just so nice. And I would love to make that for other people and send it to them. This is from Jennifer Lachance. Wavy blade, Marlene, that's a great idea. Using the wavy blade for the edge. But you could use the regular if you don't have the maker. Some people complain that my videos are all for the maker, but they're really not for the maker. Some of them are for the new ones I've done lately, but most of my projects are not just for the maker. Okay, we got two cards. Thank you. Thank you for your kind generosity and what you did for me regarding Melody's pins, Jennifer Lachance. I think she is one that somebody has, um, I think somebody 
paid for her melody pins. Wanted to do a random act of kindness. I think it was her. And I, th thanks for all you do. Have a great day, Jennifer Lachance. That is so nice. Look, she made a flamingo. This is so cool. She made a flamingo out of a stamp. That's a flower stamp. That's a leaf stamp. That's a different leaf stamp. And these are just lines. Look at how she did that. That is so neat. And I think she made the clouds in the background. That is a great job. That is so cool. Now that's thinking outside the box with that. Welcome, Cindy. That is really neat. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, now we have these bigger ones. My assistant opens these sometimes to make sure it's not something I ordered or... Okay, Melody. Oh, Sue, yeah, you could engrave on acrylic and make a little stand. Oh, Sheila, was that stamping up? It might have been. Thanks. Dear Melody, saw this and thought of you. Thank you for all you do for us. You are so talented in your craft, and thank you for sharing it. Marsha, I don't know if I can read the last name. Oh, here it is. I still can't read it. Armenen, Armeni, Armeni, Armeni. I think that's what it is. Marsha, A-R-M-E-N-I. Armeni. Look, I got a ribbon. And pretty tissue paper. Oh, look. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? That's so awesome. I love it. It's a little pillow. Oh, and you can hang it. I love that. Thank you. Oh, and a little flamingo pen. This will come in handy because I can never find a pen that's not a Cricut pen. <laughs> like anytime I need a pen, I just, I can't find one. So I have to grab a Cricut pen. But I'll find this one now. Look at how awesome that is. She got it at Hobby Lobby. Thank you so much for thinking of me when you saw this stuff. I really appreciate it. Thank you. That's so fun. It's like Christmas. Got so many fun things today. Okay, now we have this box from Billy Sue Woolley. card oh I recognize this this is what cartridge is this from I love these little girls and the little bunnies and they have kittens this is from a Cricut cartridge and it's all layered paper I love that. Isn't that nice? Dear Melody, the pins arrived today and they are adorable. I am very much a novice, but my skills are improving because of your excellent videos. Thought you might like a shirt that you didn't have to make. One of my clients own a screen printing business. Thanks for all you do. Billy Sue 
Wooly over. This card was made with crickets with Cricket after watching Jennifer McGuire's video on a split card. I forgot to leave space when I was writing inside for the area between the front pieces. Oh, like you leave space here so you don't see it through the front. That's cute. That's a neat card. Might have to make one of these in Design Space too. I like it. That is really pretty. Oh, and she sent me a shirt. It says, Love Kentucky. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's sweet. And pretty paper. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Let me come back. Whoops. Here I am. Oh my gosh, what happened to the chat? Hold on, let me fix that. Oh good, Billy Sue's here. Thank you guys so much. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, Kristen, Kristen on, um, Facebook is asking, she says, off, unrelated, but why are on the top chat uh, are some people's names green and others are blue? The people whose names are green are members of my channel. Uh, they support my channel of 99 cents or 4.99, one of those. And their name turns green and they can use the special cricket emojis. Oh, thank you, Mama Disney. Wishing you a fun day of play and rest. Very much deserved. I do feel like I need a break. But I think I want to do these little cards. I want to... I'm probably going to be sitting on my couch, on my iPad, and maybe designing some things like this. And that means more files for you guys who support. <laughs> Joan says, have to sing soft kitty to your fur baby. Oh, because Ronald says, moving the chat is scaring my cat. Oh, Shirley Duffy says, just found out I'm going to the meet. Ashish in Edinburgh at the end of the month. Awesome. He's going to the UK. And August 16th, Carol and I are going to the meet and greet in Orlando. Carol Prevo. And guess who else is going to be at that meet and greet? Can you guys guess? You're never going to guess. Who is going to be at the meet and greet? Who's coming with me to the meet and greet? That's what I'm going to say. Who's coming with me and Carol? Me and Carol are riding in my car, but so is somebody else. Somebody else that is not so crafty, but somebody else who's going to help out because they need some volunteers to help. And they asked me to get together a few. And I thought, oh, I know. No, not Ken and Shaw, not Sheila. No, not Sheila and Michael. I don't know if Michael's going. Carol, Bobby, Lori. You're never going to guess. My mom. My mom's going to go with me. So if you guys are going to 
Orlando to the meet and greet. You also get to meet my mom. You guys are all doing good guesses. The gardener. <laughs> Yeah, so my mom will be with me. One day we're gonna I'm gonna take off from Facebook and YouTube and everywhere and I'm gonna have a mom and me day. So me and my mom, I I don't know what we're doing, but I said we'll go for a golf cart ride and we'll record it. We'll do that live because that is fun. I haven't been on a golf cart ride in so long. It's been months since I've been on a golf cart. Um so we're going to go on a golf cart ride and we're going to have lunch. Don't know where, don't know what we're doing, but I thought that would be fun. The mailman is supposed to be a secret. Um, oh, what is the smiley face behind me? It's a pillow. It's, it's, it's just an emoji pillow. It was on a chair over here and I thought, I love that pillow. I stuck it in the, there's also, wait, why I move this way? A catacorn. It's a cat. It's a stuffed cat with a unicorn head. Popcorn. Uh, I don't know when the Charlotte. You have to join the events. They have events usually for the places coming up, and you RSVP in the event on Facebook. His name is Moji. <laughs> uh, it's too late to sign up for the meet and greet in Orlando. What is your favorite game in Oculus Quest? Okay. Let's talk about virtual reality. Um, the Oculus Quest is a headset thing that I wear. And it has all kinds of apps and things and games. They're not all games. Uh, I have three favorite games. And one is Beat Saber because I get exercise. One is um, Space Trainer because it reminds me of Space Invaders from the 80s, but it's in 3Ds. 3D and they actually come at you and you have to turn and it's all physical. It's not like a controller. You have to actually, and Beat Saber, your arms are going like this. Uh, I don't work up a sweat in it anymore because I'm used to it. I'm much stronger now because of it. I noticed that last time I took out the garbage, I had, I save all my boxes and put them in a bigger box and I saved them for a few weeks and we really stuffed a box really full. And when I took it out last Sunday, I used to have to drag it out to the end of the driveway. When I took it out last Sunday, I just picked it up and it didn't even feel heavy. I'm like, I must really be getting muscles from uh, these games. So Beat Saber, um, the Space Trainer, and uh, Ping Pong, Table Tennis, it's called Racket Fury. I like that one. I also like the Creed Boxing one. That one wears me out and I really start sweating. Um, but then my one of my favorite things to relax and just to get away also. Well, there's another. I also like Poker Stars. You play, it's 
just chips. You're not playing with real money or anything. You're playing poker with real people from around the world. Um, but then there's one called Wander where you can see things from all around the entire world. It is amazing. Um, and sometimes I, I can, you can click on the map and go anywhere. I went into the Antarctic. I saw penguins. I went to the top of the Swiss Alps where people climbed a mountain and went up there with a 360 camera. And I was up on the top of a mountain with people uh, snow skiing. Like all I see around, you can, it's not just looking at a picture. I can turn around and everywhere I saw were snow capped mountains and I was at the top. Uh, these people climbed this mountain. There's no way I will ever be there in real life, but it felt like I was there. Like it was just so cool. Um, and then I saw third world countries. I saw huts and places where people lived, like huts and all different, like they're not even in a straight row. They're just they're just everywhere and they have tires on their roofs to hold down their roofs and they're just they're I, it's hard to explain I didn't know people still lived this way it, it's just amazing and you can like go down the street and walk down the street last night I was in the Philippines and uh, the other night I was in Spain now when I do this I feel like I've been there and I, I feel like I don't have to travel uh, like you can go to the Eiffel Tower where you're in the Eiffel Tower looking out. It's amazing. And so it was so cool. I'm like, okay, I feel like I've been here. I don't need to go. But I went to Spain the other night to Seville. I think that was the name of the city. And it was like there were castles there from like the 1200s. It was just amazing. And I felt like, so I feel like now I need to go to Spain. I don't know why, <laughs> but I was just Wow. It was just wow to see these old buildings. We don't have those in America. It was just finally, I mean, it, it just, it's just amazing. It was really, really amazing. And to think that you can do that from sitting in your room. I think virtual reality is, someday I hope everybody has it. I hope that the thing I have is like $400 and that's all you need. You don't need a computer or anything to go with it and it's wireless and everything. So it's, it's amazing and it would be amazing for anybody who's sick, can't leave their house, can't travel, people that are bedridden or just people that are in the hospital for a week. They can put this on laying in their hospital bed and feel like they're somewhere else. You can just go sit on a beach and listen to the waves and watch the waves and watch the little turtle drive, walk by and see the birds. You can make it rain if you want. Uh, it's just amazing. Yeah, you can go to Ireland. I've been to every country in the world, I think. I went and saw the pyramids. Now I went, I feel like I was there. I was there and I'm like looking up at these pyramids and looking. It's different than the pictures you see on TV or in books or any in the movies. It's different. I was like, wow. Can you log into drones? Well, what you can do, there's YouTube VR that I can get to through my headset. And yes, People upload videos from drones or from 360 cameras. I want to get a 360 camera now. Um, you can fly out of an airplane. You can, um, I went up in a, air, a weather balloon during an eclipse. So in one of the videos, you are hanging from a weather balloon and you start on earth and then you fly up. You float up just with the weather balloon. This was during an eclipse. In this video, it had words there telling you how high you are and uh, what you're looking at and things like that. It is amazing. 
And then near the end, it says, look up at the balloon. It's about to explode because it's too high out of the atmosphere. You're looking down at Earth like it's you're really far. I don't remember what it was, but it tells you how far you are. And then the, you look up and the balloon burst and you start falling back to Earth. And you, I mean, you live because you're in virtual reality, but if you weren't, you probably wouldn't survive. But it's, it's just amazing. Uh, oh, have I posted pictures of the school project? I think I did post some pictures. I need to do a video on that. I have a little video and I'm going to make a video on the school project. Thanks for reminding me. I really need to do that. Yay, Melanie Moore, your uh, name is green now. Yeah, it is such a nice getaway. Yeah, and you can get exercise a fun way. Not like I hate exercise. I, you're not, I feel like you're wasting time, although it's good for you, but it's not fun. At least it's not fun for me. But doing these games, you're actually moving. When I'm playing ping pong or table tennis, I'm actually playing. I'm actually, I'm like going like this and running to hit the ball. I mean, not running, but, you know, moving over and um, going back and forth, hitting the ball. And it's a lot of fun. And you don't have to go chase the ball down because when a ball leaves a table, you just get a, a new one appears in your hand. Yeah, uh, through the Oculus Quest, you can live stream to Facebook. So I have done that a little bit. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. I will be back Tuesday at noon. Maybe I'll do the school video for Tuesday. Maybe. I got to get that going. And there's some tips in that school video. It's not just about the school. There's some tips about putting the vinyl on the wall. We found out an easier way to do it. Welcome, Linda. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys. I will see you next week. Thank you, Ronald. You're so sweet.